Hey everyone, it's Mindy from MommyMouseClubhouse.com and today we are going to talk about food. Disneyland snacks and treats to be exact. So sit back and let's take a tour around the happiest place on earth to see all the delicious goodies. Let's start our Disneyland treat tour on Main Street, USA. About halfway down Main Street, you will find Gibson Girl Ice Cream Parlor. They have ice cream cones, soda floats, etc., but nothing beats the adorable chocolate chip cookie sundae for $6.99. Two scoops of vanilla ice cream, two fresh baked chocolate chip cookies, fudge topping, whipped cream, and a cherry on top. Our next stop is Jolly Holiday Bakery Cafe, where you can get two of our favorites, Mickey Macarons and Mickey Shaped Sugar Cookies. Refreshment Corner is another place on Main Street that we always stop at to pick up a snack. You can get classic Mickey Mouse pretzels, as well as jalapeno cheese or cream cheese stuffed pretzels, and they have meal items like chili and hot dogs. If you're looking for a meal on Main Street, head over to Plaza Inn and order a plate of fried chicken for $18.49. This meal is great because you can easily share it between two adults. My kids love to get the penne pasta when we visit Plaza Inn. Now let's head to Adventureland for one of my all-time favorite Disney treats, Dole Whip. You can pick up this delicious soft serve snack from the Tiki Juice Bar at the entrance of the Enchanted Tiki Room, or you can pick some up next door at Tropical Hideaway, where you can also get different flavors like raspberry and pineapple swirl, or a Dole Whip float topped with pineapple juice. You can even enjoy your treat while watching the Tiki Room birds sing, or while watching the boats of the Jungle Cruise float by. Now let's head past the Rivers of America to New Orleans Square. Our favorite snack spot here is the Mint Julep Bar, which you can probably guess sells mint juleps. We always get a classic mint julep, but there is almost always a specialty julep available as well. We have tried strawberry, watermelon, and cranberry, and they were all amazing. Don't forget to pick up a sack of Mickey beignets as well. They come in a pack of three or a pack of six. Next door in Critter Country, you'll find Pooh Corner, one of my favorite Disneyland treat shops located between the exit of Splash Mountain and the exit of the Many Adventures of Winnie the Pooh. Not only will you find gourmet caramel apples, Rice Krispie treats and cake pops, you will also find a raspberry white chocolate chip cookie, one of my favorites, and the famous churro toffee, which you'll definitely want to try. Another great spot to grab a snack in Critter Country is Hungry Bear Restaurant. 
They always have amazing funnel cakes as well as this delicious watermelon lemonade freeze that is topped with whipped cream and sprinkles. Welcome to Fantasyland. I have to admit that Fantasyland does not have very many must-have snacks to choose from, but there are always things like churros and ice cream bars available. The one thing in Fantasyland that we do get on every visit to Disneyland is the gray stuff from Red Rose Tavern. The gray stuff is white chocolate cookies and cream mousse that is swirled around red velvet cake that is filled with raspberry preserves on top of a shortbread cookie, and it is delicious. Our last stop in Disneyland Park is Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. The one snack location we stop at each time we visit is the milk stand to get a glass of green milk and a glass of blue milk. The blue milk definitely has a coconut taste to it and the green has more of a citrus taste. I prefer the green, but mostly because my family loves the blue and then I get the green milk all to myself. If you've tried the blue milk or the green milk, let me know in the comments if you are team green or team blue. Blue or green? Green for sure. So green, dad, blue or green? Blue. Blue? Both. Both of them? Now let's head over to Disney California Adventure Park to see what goodies are worth getting when you visit. On Buena Vista Street, there are definitely a couple of snacks that you need to try. First of all, you can't miss visiting Willie's Churro Cart. There are standard churros available, but the specialty churros are where it's at. On our last trip, we had a fluffernutter churro, which was drizzled in marshmallow cream, peanut butter sauce, and chocolate chips. At Christmas time, you need to try the pecan pie churro. Another treat you need to try are the hand-dipped ice cream bars from Clarabelle's. I recommend the chocolate ice cream dipped in dark chocolate and covered in chocolate chips. Can you tell I like chocolate? Hey, we love your ice cream, Clarabelle. It's delicious. Oh, she loves us too. Wave to her. Blow her kisses. It's time to visit Cars Land. My favorite spot to get a treat is the Cozy Cone Motel. You can get popcorn, chili cone queso, ice cream cones, and churros. We always like to get an ice cream cone here. I prefer a chocolate and vanilla twist cone covered in road gravel or also known as Oreo crumbs. Next door to Cars Land is Avengers Campus. If you're looking for some good food, make sure to stop at Pim Tess Kitchen. We really liked the not-so-little chicken sandwich, the Choco Smash candy bar, which tasted like a combination of a Snickers bar and brownies, and the giant quantum pretzel. For a delicious treat on Pixar Pier, head toward the Incredicoaster. Near the exit of the ride, you will find a little snack stand called Jack Jack Cookie Num Nums. Here you can get your own delicious chocolate chip cookie, just like the one from The Incredibles. When I was purchasing my cookie, a cast member told me that Disney pumps the smell of chocolate chip cookies into the tunnels of the Incredicoaster to entice guests to purchase a cookie as they exit. Well, it obviously worked on me. Over in the Pacific Wharf area of the park, you need to stop at Ghirardelli Soda Fountain and Chocolate Shop. 
This might be my favorite ice cream location in all of Disneyland. The chocolate shop is adorable and the ice cream is amazing. One of my boys got the magical sundae, which is vanilla ice cream and handmade hot fudge topped with whipped cream, sprinkles, and dipped waffle ears. Another one of my boys loves milkshakes, so he got a classic cookies and cream thick shake. My husband and I had the Land's End salted caramel brownie sundae that had one of the best brownies I've ever had. I hope you enjoyed this snack tour of Disneyland and that you have found some new treats to try on your next visit. My complete list of over 40 Disneyland snacks will be linked down in the description. You can find recipes for many of these snacks on MommyMouseClubhouse.com, including Dole Whip and Mickey Beignets. Please hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and visit Mommy Mouse Clubhouse for more Disneyland tips and tricks. I'll see you next time.